To complete the firmware update for your CDR882, turn on the CDR882 and put the burnt disk into Drive 1 and close the tray. Note that the update CD must be the first CD loaded after power is applied to the unit. If there is already a disk in Drive 1, remove it first and reboot the CDR882 before loading the update CD. After the disk has been read, a dialog screen will be displayed asking for confirmation to update the firmware. Press record to continue or stop to abort. The firmware update will now proceed automatically. The progress of the update procedure is displayed by the level bar graph meter. Also, the display will show a succession of messages. Updating OS. Do not disturb power. Erasing flash completed writing flash completed, and reboot. During the update procedure, it is essential that the power supply to the CDR882 is not interrupted. Should this occur, the unit will be rendered unusable and will require factory reinitialization. When the disk has been read, the drive tray opens automatically. The disk may now be removed. The disk tray will not close automatically. This is normal. Reboot the unit by powering off, then back on. Further internal file rewriting now takes place. While this is in progress, the front panel may appear to be completely dead. This step may take up to 30 seconds. Do not press any buttons while it is proceeding. When the update process is complete, the unit will boot up in the normal way. For additional information, visit www.dualburn.com.